everybody, it's me, Brutal Eclipse One, coming to you with the working redstone pool table thing. <laughs> okay, so here's some gameplay of me playing with it. Normally you'd play with two players, and someone would be red, someone would be blue. Whoever has the most balls in our blocks in at five minutes, because that's when they despawn, wins. So here we go. Here, let's start this tutorial. So what you're going to want to do is stack blocks full high. Um, this is going to be where you, or this I stacked it full high. But um, you're going to be, you probably might be digging in the ground. But if you're building above ground, um, stack it full high. All right. So it's going to be a nine by five. You can make it with. This is going to be an actual table where the balls are going to be. Um, it's going to be a nine by five again. I just want to say that again, just in case I missed it. Um, you can build it with any material you want. I did it with it, a green because that's normally what the tables are, or what color they usually are. Now, you, this part is a little hard to tell you. You're going to just have to look at what it is. Um, but you can use any materials again. But I'm going to be calling, I'm not just going to be calling them the wooden trunks. Because I'm going to have to refer to where to place things with them later. So, just keep that in mind. Put any kind of half slab over these. Um, again, it can be any material you want. I choose, chose wooden planks. So I think it looks nice. Next, you will take. Well, this is optional. You can take black wool and put it over to where the holes are, which would be in like these corners. And I'll show you the spot and I stuff that down the side. But um, then you also put them over that hole or those holes. And you can do that to every corner, and there's two little full things. Then you'll take, that is completely optional too, I just like it, or the way it looks. Now you can take any material and put it between the things, if you put those things there, otherwise you just make a circle. Now you're going to put another layer of uh, material around that. Now you're going to take more wooden trunks and place them, line, they're going to be a on above the um they're gonna be lined up with the other wooden trunks but they're gonna be re just remember they're back behind all the layers you just made okay and they're gonna line up with the other wooden other wooden trunks sorry see that's what i'm showing right there they line up all right so yeah all right, all right do it to all of the wooden trunks make them line up. Then you're going to put buttons on the top layer of all this. So alright, let's get on to the next part. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is get a block of any kind and you're going to want to put two under those bottom wooden trunks, tree trunks that we made earlier. And you're going to place Sticky paste things facing up toward them on every one. So I set it up right over here. Every one. So, and now we will get on to redstone. Alright, so I use different color wool so you guys can see what's happening because someone asked me to do that last time I did a redstone tutorial. So hey, I'm going to do it. So we're first going to do this side, which I chose red. Now, if you guys are just going to have to look at how I did the redstone because it's a little hard to tell or say. But this is the actually third model of this, and it is a lot smaller than the original two. So I hope you guys do enjoy. That is two lined up with it and three down, or go down one and three go. Okay, I'm going to place one above it with a torch on it and redstone on top of that block. So, now power that. Press the button, it will... I, I'm i sorry about the one that's down. That's actually my fault because I was doing the tutorial earlier. Earlier, I messed up, so I restarted and I never put something back down. 
Alright, so now we're going to do the second layer, which is going to be green. You're going to place a repeater, place two, and the circuits will con be connected, so you just run through the block and place it right there so they don't connect. Now you're going to put a redstone torch on the end, and you're basically going to build it like you built the other one. It's a little different towards the bottom, but basically the same. It's the same concept. Alright, now, th I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later because I'm not going to do that right now. Anymore. Because it might confuse people. Alright, so you're going to take that out. You're going to, again, you're doing it basically the same idea of what you did last time, like so. And you're going to push the redstone. You put the redstone. I'm sorry, my tongue is completely sticky. Now, right here, it's. Do you see how that bottom redstone torch is? That is incorrect, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, as in, basically, I'm messing up here. But you're, I take the red, take that redstone torch off and put it on the opposite side. Like that. Now you're going to place more blocks going towards. You're going to just make that completely over there, which I actually messed up. But okay, and that circuit will connect too. Place another block there. We'll just connect it right there as well. So now I messed up. You actually have to continue it over to the piston, and then you're going to do three repeaters. This is where they won't get. But yeah, just put three repeaters. <laughs> oh, wait, now we're going to do the next section, which is the yellow section. You're going to build it just like I built the red section. It's exactly the same. So, you can just copy the red section with the yellow section, or you could copy the red section with the yellow section, either way. Oh, whatever. <laughs> They're basically red and yellow section are exactly the same. As you can see, all I'm doing is copying the red section here. Now, we're going to place the yellow like that. that. Again, that actually, that block also puts the circuit off, but it also works as a, um, one of the things to get the circuit down there, which is pretty useful. So, let's go. Alright, again, you're going to have to cut the circuit off of the block. Now, on this bottom layer, you're just going to put some redstone. And boom! you got three working piston things. <laughs> now, we're going to add the water later, but for right now, what you're going to have to do is... What you just built, you're going to have to build for every one of those piston things or every one of those things with buttons. So you're basically going to have to build it five more times, which is a little bit of a pain, but I think it's okay. Anyway, so here we go. I've built all of them, um, finally. And here we go. It starts on the... the... next step. Alright, so for this you can use, you're going to need a block, I'm using two to show you guys, the dip, um, help you guys out. And you're also going to need signs or ladders, which is an odd thing. Alright, so right here I'm just placing blocks to show you what I'm talking about. Basically, where this white is, besides that one sticking out too far, is where the, um, one that is where the ball is going to fall, and then let's say that, so that hole is going to be where the ball is going to fall. You're going to want to rim around it, so, like so. Now, then you're just going to build it up to the top. And then, you actually don't, you only need it one. I built the other one, too. But, there you go, I speed it up. You're going to do that with every one. Okay. As you can hear, that's pretty fine, too, which I built two down. You only have to build them one up. Okay, now you're going to take your sign or ladder. You're going to stick them right there, right there, and into it. And this one, you're going to see right there. This is for the water, when you're, for the water to not, not to go into the hole. So. Okay. So now you're going to need to go under it again. And you're going to place this 
canister, I guess you call it. Basically, you place those blocks on the piston. You place one back, back but up. This will give it a little pocket behind the wooden trunks, and um, that's going to be where you put your water here in a minute. Go. Get up. Back to Now you're going to need a thing of water. Now I personally like just grabbing the material, the wooden chunks again that I placed, and just destroying them. It makes it easier. Speed this up again for you. All right. Now you're going to place the water in there, and then you're going to place the as you can see, those signs are what's blocking the water from going into under the thing and actually making it work because water flows towards the nearest drop. Alright, do that with it. Put the water in there and um, wooden drinks back every er, to everyone. And now you have a fully functional pool table. It really wasn't that hard. Alright, and now you're just going to need your four red, four blue, and your one black. Now you can obviously throw them onto the map better than I do. I'm just trying to get this fast because I, YouTube takes a while to post videos. So, whatever. Alright, so you're going to press the buttons, blah blah blah. You can have two players. And, um, yeah. Please visit my Minecraft website, superior superiorcraft.ucoz.com. Um, the link to that will be in the description. It's also on the page, or you're looking at it right now. Um, you can also you can check out our projects we're doing now, and you can see what we're going to be posting on YouTube soon, some tutorials or whatever. Um, so yeah, check that out, and also, if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Thanks, guys, for everything you do. And yeah, thanks, guys.